beast, didn't they? Chuff to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just kind of trying not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boot. Called him mullet. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. It is a glorious summer's day. Um, first week in June. I'm, sh I'm anchored off in shallow water. I've got four rods in the water and I'm fishing. So I was heading out to go out past the needles. The closer I got, the stronger the wind, wind and tide, not good. So I've come back into what I class as shower. It's not really showered, but it's not out in open, open water. Um, and what have I done? So I've gone Long down tide on the big rods, short down tide on the small rods. I've got a mixture, so I've got ragworm, bought some ragworm, don't know why. I've got plenty of mackerel and sand eel and squid, but I thought I'd try it, you know? Um, and I've got a mixture of rigs. So I've got a running ledger with like a flyer with small hooks, hoping for black bream. I have caught bream here before on high water. Um, the other rod this side to me, the other small down tider, I've just got ragworm, two really big snake ragworm. And the two long, long uh, down tiders, I've just got big squid, but halved, big chunky hook, just lobbed it out. Um, I did get hit on that rod just a minute ago, so I'm gonna check it. Excuse the fact that I've got to shield myself from the sun. I'm in short sleeves, I've even got my shorts on. I've got my chicken legs out. <laughs> chicken legs out. Waiting for a bite, no fishes yet. See what happens. <laughs> Anything can be caught here. It's a good mark, this one. Gives a good mixed bag. Good mixed bag, variation, and that's what we like, don't we? Don't want the same same all the time, as the intro says. Let's get to it, let's get fishing. I was hoping for some black bream today, and I've just changed the rig, and this little critter's come along. <laughs> absolutely Woo, careful absolute chuff to bits i'll get this back and i'll show you the rig <laughs> in you go <laughs> he's in he's gone right i'm in the middle of baiting up so everything's everywhere here we go last time i fished here um we were getting hit by black bream but my rigs were all too big hooks were too big it, it just I wasn't geared up for fishing that day. I tried to predict what I'm going to do and then minimise the tackle that I bring because I'm just focusing on that. So the last couple of times I've been here, I've been fishing for smooth hounds. So what I've actually done is a very simple, it's just got three droppers on it. Three droppers, but tiny little octopus hooks. I think they're Cox and Royal and I think the pattern is called octopus hooks. They're a funny shape, but they're tiny. Size two, I think, something like that. I haven't used big weights because the tide's racing. Tiny little slivers of squid, next to nothing on there. Um, and it's worked. That was only down for a couple of minutes. So I'm just gonna bake this one up. I'm gonna get it down. See if I can catch some more. I'd like some bigger ones, to be honest. I'd like, I would genuinely, I rarely take fish home, but I'd like a couple of nice, size black bream today 
return everything else, but a nice couple of, couple of nice eating size. I'd like them for the barbecue. So we get this down. That's all it is, baited up. Just three droppers. I might do a making on this rig actually, because I thought it through. I wondered what, what I was going to need to hook into these fish. I don't usually fish for them. Um, and I like to vary, I like to try new things. So that's down. Yeah, so a sailing boat really close. Um, so it's absolutely glorious. I'm in short sleeves. I've got my shorts, I've got my chicken chaser legs out. Um, <laughs> my little fall corn, leg corn legs. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on that rod because I reckon that's gonna go almost straight away. At high tide, this position, this mark, doesn't fish that well for the bigger fish, for the hounds, the tope, the rays. But last time, when it went quiet, we got hit by black bream. Hence why I'm trying for them today. When the tide starts to run and it gets to low, I'm gonna swap rigs and baits and fish more for rays. Rays and small hounds. I think you get smaller hounds here. Nothing like my previous video where they went absolutely ballistic. Um, but yeah, I love seeing black bream. <laughs> And it's something different. Something different, a different species. It's all good fun. I think what I'm gonna do is, because that rig is on one of the bigger rods, I'm gonna put bream rigs on both of the small um, thin tip rods to give me more fighting action. And then put the big baits out on the big rods. As I work through and do my baiting up, I'll swap over. Good stuff, the plan worked. Within five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of putting the rig out that I thought through, that I thought would catch, um, I picked one up. Downside today is a lot of weed. A lot of weed and I'm picking up weed and I can tell there's weed on that rod there. So I'm gonna sort that out and if I catch another fish, I'll get straight back. It's glorious today, absolutely stunning. I'm getting some bream type rattles on the on the rig that I expect them on. And they always give a good account of themselves. They may not be the biggest fish. Oh, <laughs> I've got a double header and they're both a decent size. They look nice. Check those bad boys out. <laughs> the rig is working perfectly. Love it. Love it when it works like it's like you think it would. Let's get these get these unhooked. There's the first one. He's too small. He's going back. And away he goes. <laughs> the second one is a nicer size, but I still think he's a bit small. Oh, he is stunning. He's got those bright blue flashes. I love them. They're amazing creatures. Come on, mate. I'm going to unhook you. Give me a chance and don't bite my finger. And those hooks, those little octopus hooks, turn out really nice. I'm, I'm well pleased with those hooks. Uh, let's see if it will let me hold him without kippering out of my hands. Because he'll try. You know they will. <laughs> little black bream. Look at the amazing blue flash across his eye. He's stunning, isn't he? He's going back. And away he goes. I love the way Bream go back as well. They sort of pause and then they go, and they're gone. I don't know if you can actually tell on the camera, but tide's changed, wind has changed. It's not that comfortable, to be honest. Um, I thought I'd stick it out. Let's dry my hands. I thought I'd stick it out, and it's, it is actually getting worse. So I don't know if you can see, just see the white crest. White crest for me, just when they start to the show like that, that's probably enough for me here, but I'm not giving up. So I think I've achieved what I wanted to achieve for today with the black bream. I've caught three, a double header on one. Um, that was nice to see. Chuffed the bits with that, rig worked. So I was trying to think where else to go. I need to head into inshore in the lee, um, tuck in somewhere. And the best place I can think of is the hound mark. 
So I'm going to go and try the helm mark, suck it and see, see what the wind's like, see if it's comfortable at anchor, and if it is, I'm going to have a couple of few hours, see if I can winkle out some hounds, just for the sport of it, just because they're there. Seasonal, isn't it? You've got to make the most of the seasons. So that's where I'm going now. I'm going to lift the anchor, big, really big steps, and uh, head for the hound mark, see what the weather's like. See you in a bit. I've had to come up out of the wind because the soling is pretty breezy and I've come up to the aquarium. I've come up to the aquarium that is the hot water outlet. <laughs> oh. And because there's the hot water outlet and there's a flow of water, oh, he's a nice one. There's some bass. <laughs> bass in the boat. <laughs> Let's get him unhooked. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, he's bristling. He's good to go. There's the lure, a little like white sand hill pattern, and there's the bass. Undersized, he's going back. See if he unhooks nice. There he is, bristling little bass. I'm going to zoom in. He's gone. <laughs> That's quality, isn't it? That is absolute quality. Love it. He's made a bit of a mess of me lure. It's all come apart. <laughs> and he's tore it a bit as well. He was an angry little bass. There's not much left of that lure, to be honest. He's <laughs> pretty tore up. That's the lure. Just a little white sand eel imitation type thing. <laughs> so I tried a different tactic and that was just to let it drift right out as if it was being washed out with the current. And on a really long line, there's a bass. It'll take a while to get him back to the boat he's so far out. If I just left the bail arm open, just let it keep going. Oh, he's swimming all around the boat. <laughs> it's good fun. Good sport on a warm summer's day, out of the wind. There we go. You can see he's absolutely smashed that sand hill. In the corner of the mouth though, on my seat. Fish on my seat. <laughs> Nobody wants a fishy seat. <laughs> and ceremonious plop. They must be sat way back, just waiting for the food to be pushed towards them. So I've just got the bail arm open. Just keeping some kind of control with my finger, just so it doesn't just sp or completely spool out. I'm just bouncing it back. There must be a shoal right back there. I suppose if you found the shoal and you marked your line, you could just let it go back out to the mark every time you'd be right on them. A bit like cheating that though, isn't it? This feels like cheating as it is. But at least I'm fishing with a lure. Oh, I just picked up a piece of weed. Yep. There is a lot of weed about at the moment. You gotta make sure the lure's completely clear of weed. Just pushing it right back. <laughs> but the tactic of, of letting it go all the way back seems to be working. It's not quite a fisher chuck at the moment, but they're good sport, good fun. Especially on really light tackle. This is a really light rod. This is a Abu Black Max. This one's the smallest one so far, I think. <laughs> Bristling though. <laughs> you can see the lure in his mouth. Ooh. Come on, mate, let's get you out. <laughs> that was the smallest one so far. So black bream today, they fought well. Um, Small fish, they do fight well, black bream. They give 
give a really good account of themselves and really angry little takes as well and um, school bus school bus in the aquarium so even though the weather has conspired to make today difficult for me made the best of it I did go and look at the hound mark but it was too windy too choppy there um, it was certainly too windy too choppy out where I was earlier this morning but you've got to love this this is just good fun just oh, I've got weed on my lure <laughs> weed on my lure that's not good always play the lure right to the boat because usually and quite regularly there's a fish following it and once they realize it's going to be out of their reach out of their out of their grasp then sometimes they panic take it oh had a knock there and another knock something's interested isn't it must be small. This one's a lively little critter. <laughs> Tiny. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> Catch and release. But what a day. There was a plan, but plans change. I went out for raisin hounds, ended up with bass and bream. I'm still a student of the weather and the forecast for me didn't forecast the winds and the sea state that I saw out there today. So I don't know if I'm reading it wrong or they're predicting it wrong. So what have I had so far? I've had three black bream, three bass. It's been a little stonker of a day. I'm pleased I came out. As always, it's been a pleasure sharing it with you. Tight lines and happy fishing. From me, from here, for now, it's goodbye. Take care and I'll see you soon. Tight lines. <laughs>